think actually it's not that bad. I mean, I'm coming on live, but just doing a QA. Uh, TikTok, I'm actually trying to do more lives over here to build my audience. But um, we're about to leave the office. We're waiting to see if the person who has a pickup is going to come. So since we're going to stay here, I was ready to go at 6 o'clock. But we're going to wait and give them, you know, the appropriate time because we're supposed to be here until 6 or they have until 6 or to come pick it up. Um, so I figured I come on and do a quick Q&A in that 30 minutes. So this is going to be like literally 30 minutes because, well, probably like 25. Cut it off so that I can be out the door all right um but hello everyone incredible afternoon so i'm gonna be gonna sit back um kind of a chill vibes and let's answer some questions shall we um i think i put them all in my group so i don't really have to share it it should send out the notification um already so you guys can have at it and ask me questions we have 30 minutes. Um, I know earlier someone was asking a question, but it wasn't a general Q&A, so I wasn't able to answer that. Doing my best when I have, um, oh, look, hold on one second. The 13 and the chip resetter. So yeah, that was actually my customer saying that they're on their way to come pick up their 13 inch summation paper and their chip resetter for the 7710, 7720. So awesome, awesome, awesome. So I'm glad, we, I'm glad I didn't leave <laughs> uh, because they are on their way here. Um, so, um, yeah, it's on. I had to mute it because I took a phone call. All right. But hello, everyone. I am Shakia, the professor of HS Inc. 365 LLC. We are the parent company of Slaholics Anonymous, uh, the honesty speaking brand, which, you know, someone's come to pick up some of their honesty speaking summation paper, um, and 365 Creative Academy, where I help you to unlock your creativity in a wide variety of classes um, and seminars and workshops and boot camps and things like that, all right? Um, I'm well-versed in a lot of areas from event planning, balloon decor, making party favors, phone boards, sublimation, uh, paper crafts, 3D crafts, uh, eco solvent prints. I think I said sublimation, silhouette studio, Photoshop, Illustrator. Oh my gosh, the color is, I have no idea what's going on. The quality of this video is actually horrid. I don't know what's going on. Like, I don't know if it's like the more I put on here, it seems like the more places I share to on StreamYard, it's like the resources are really low. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take away, um, I'm going to take off some of these. I don't know if that is what's happening. It seems like um, the more I, like the more places I um, share to, it just seems like the the resources are really low like i don't i don't know if it's a stream yard thing but it is extremely blurry um it's extremely blurry i don't know what's going on here uh so i'm gonna try and remove some of them and see nope that didn't really help any um how do you enlarge the icons uh michelle if you go to preferences it's there under preferences as far as display we went over that, I believe. Yeah, so go to preferences, it's in display. Um, how far? Uh, 
37th, 19th Avenue, literally that close. So when we leave out of here, we go through one, two, three lights, one block, and then we're damn your home. So it's like five minutes away, if that. Uh, let's see. I'm so sorry, y'all. Like, it is completely blurry. Okay. It looks like, it looks like that did help when I removed the others. So that's a good thing. So I think it just doesn't like it when I share to that many places. I think that's what it is because now it is actually, it's a little bit clear. It's not as clear as it should be with the quality of camera that I have but it's actually better than what it was before. So. All right, let me, ooh, my face looks so weird on the thumbnail over there. <laughs> All right, so let's share this out. More options, share to a group. So I'm going to reshare it out to my group since I removed the feed from it. So let's do that. Um, share, more options, share to a group. If you didn't notice, I did change the name of my silhouette group back to reflect Silaholics Anonymous because people said they were getting confused as to which group was mine because it didn't say Silaholics. I tried to brand and like do it as Shakia the professor. That's when I was like, look, they don't support me. I'm not going to have all this, like, you know, this list stuff once we became HS Inc., but Look, it is what it is. I spent seven years being H, I mean, Soulholic Synonymous. So, yeah, I just went back to the name being Soulholic Synonymous. So, if you didn't see that name change or if you're looking for it because you got used to seeing Learn with the Professor Silhouette Sublimation and more, it's now back to Soulholic Synonymous. All right. Uh, okay. So, I've shared it out and let's go. Uh, so again, this is a Q&A, guys. You guys are always saying that you need help. No one's there to help. I'm here to answer your questions. So we'll be on um, until 6.30 or until my customer gets here to do their pickup if there are no questions. So I do see a question over on TikTok. Do you know how to disable the firmware update for Windows on 720? I don't want to update. So I do have a full video on that. Um, when you go... So there's a couple of different places you can do it, um, the pop-up that comes up, and you can also do it on the um, on the printer itself. So there is a video um, when you, oh gosh, I'm, you're going to go to, I don't know, I can't even think off the top of my head. It's been so long since I've done that video. But I will say, if you search, honestly speaking, or Silaholic Synonymous firmware, uh, disable firmware, it will come up on how yeah, to do yeah. that. That's you? Yes. Okay, I didn't eat your candy. Then who? Then who? This boy has a magnifying glass. He's investigating who ate his candy. So he's like, was it you? And so I said, it wasn't me. So I said, so then who? So he has his magnifying glass with the light on it. And he's going around trying to figure out who ate his candy. It wasn't me. It was not me. Oh, so um, I will say, if you do the firmware, uh, okay, so you can hit, like, on your, are you getting the update, like, you're getting the notification on your computer or on the printer? If you hit okay on the printer, it doesn't automatically do the firmware update. It's just a notification saying that there is one. Contrary to what anyone will tell you, firmware updates do not prevent you from using your third-party chips. Unless like it is the newer one and you don't want to have your third party chips in there. Like if you do it with a set of Epson chips and then put the third party chips back in there, they will work. But if there is no real, at this time, there's no real benefit or adverse um, uh, consequences for 
doing the firmware update. That's an urban myth. It's like one person says it and it just keeps going through the group saying that, oh, it'll keep you from doing summation. It'll keep you from using reuse refillable cartridges. Close my door, sir. Okay, keep you from using refillable cartridges. That's not true. I have had several of the printers, 7720s, and I even did a video where I showed that all three of my printers had different firmwares. So it, it's an urban myth. It does not affect it. If it did, Epson does not keep the same firmware. So like, let's say they made a batch of printers, right? And then they did a firmware, some type of firmware update. The newer printers are going to have that firmware update and people are still able to use the new ones. Also, I think it's just kind of a glitch and it's just this thing that kind of comes up because if you actually go to their website, there is actually no firmware update on the website. So it's it's just annoying and you can disable it. Yes, people are always saying that. So yeah, on the printer, if you just literally hit close or hit OK, it doesn't. So you cannot initiate a firmware update from the printer itself. It's something that comes from the computer. So your computer and your um, printer actually have to, it has to be plugged in and then it will do like the whole firmware update. So you don't have to worry about seeing that and hitting it and making a mistake and doing it. Just simply hitting OK or hitting close does not actually install the update. It doesn't store. That's how I know that it's not, um, it, it, it just comes up. So it's not anything where it's like an actual update. It's just something that just constantly pops up. I notice, uh, I notice you, so you don't have to use the color charts when using shadows. I know it's a silly question. Um, what do you mean? Like, so when I'm doing what the shadows in Silhouette Studio, I use black and I just take it down. So I'm, it's just gray. So I don't, and I don't really have the issue where it comes out like purple or brown, um, for mine. Now, sometimes when I am doing mine, if I want to make sure that it is like a certain gray, you have to, I, you have to also remember that you take the transparency down on it. So if I did want it to be like a specific color, like gray, um, once I do the shadow, I would release it and then click on it and then use the color code for it. But it's just a shadow. It's just black and it's the colors taken down. So if you're wanting a specific color, then yeah, you would have to do that. You would have to use a color, ch color chart. But for me, I just use black and adjust the transparency. Yeah, he like, I'm gonna find out who stole my candy. <laughs> Like he literally is like Sherlock Holmes with a magnifying glass. So either I'm doing a really good job on teaching you guys to where you have no questions or there are no newbies on the live to where you guys don't have like, you know, inquiring minds want to know what about this? How do I record what I'm doing while recording? Wait, huh? How do I record what I'm doing while recording? I do, wait, do I have to point my camera at it while, huh? I'm so confused as far as what you're asking. <laughs> I don't, don't quite understand what you're trying to ask. Uh, friend sent hex code link. If I use a code, is it the match screen to... Uh, to print, will they match? Okay, so if they sent you a hex code, right? It's not like, so they're kind of just sending you the code that, that they want it to be. Depending on which printer you have, it can potentially not give you the output. That's why it's so important for you to print out, um, for you to print out color charts. You have to remember that you are using third-party inks. It's not like the exact uh, um, color profile for that particular printer. Although Submation Ink is made to be as close as possible to a pigment ink profile, it's not the exact profile. So once you're sending it to print from there, your printer might print out colors a little bit different. So they can send you a hex code, but it may not be the colors that they want. 
the best thing to do is have them look at your color chart um, and select a color from there and use that hex code. When you print out color charts and you sublimate them to something, it is showing you the exact output of your specific printer. Eagle Tank prints seem to be a little duller than Workforce. Why? All the same ink and paper, yours, of course, because they are different resolutions. I have I, I explained that in my breakdown of all the printers. Uh, the Workforce printers have a really high print resolution. Um, I think it's like, is it 12,000 or 20? I forget what it is. But a lot of the Eco Tanks, it's not as high of a resolution. So it's not putting the colors down. But with sublimation, that's not a really big deal. If you are using, oh yeah, so you're using my ink and paper, that means it's sublimation. If you press it. So are you having an issue with how it outputs and the quality of it once you press it? Or are you just looking at the print? Because usually once you press it, you really can't tell a big difference. But the resolution for eco tanks. Um, is not as high as workforces. That is one of the reasons why I actually prefer workforces. And I talk about that in my uh, video where I break down all of the printers. Um, let's see. How do I create a shot glass template for sublimation in silhouette? So if it is tapered, so well, pretty much a shot glass is going to be tapered. You have to have designer edition plus or business edition. And then once you have that, you're going to measure um, the uh, top, bottom, and like the height of it. And then you're going to increase it by 0.1, whatever the size is. Because technically, Silhouette Studios curve is not made for a full wrap. It is made to simply curve vinyl to go on straight. So when you go and you try to wrap it, it's going to, um, it's not going to be like a full wrap. So if you, but if you have the shot glasses where there's like that little piece in the middle and it doesn't go all the way around, all you have to do is measure it, put in those and it will warp your design and you can put it on there. But if you have the shot glasses where it goes all the way around, then you will need to increase it by 0.1. Um, got it. Color chart for my sub dye and pigment. Correct. Uh, I always wonder why I couldn't get it right. Um, hold on one second. I think she says on my way, be there something, be there in two minutes. Okay, perfect. Um, let's see. My chip resetter is taking a lot of tries before it gives me a reset green light. Does this mean I should order another one? No, it just means that you're not sitting it um, properly. If you still have that L bracket on it, take it off. You want to just make sure, like when you're looking at it, make sure that those pins line up and that little bracket on there, just take it off. It makes it a lot easier to line it up. Um, I'm trying to do a video and show what I'm making while recording. Recording, what should or how would I come? I'm not sure. I mean, you're trying to make a video while you're recording. I'm not understanding because when you're making a video, you're recording something. So are you trying to, like, when you're saying that, you are you wanting to do a recording of like what you're doing and a screen share? I'm, I'm lost on what you, I'm trying to do a video and show what I'm making while recording or or wait, recording, what should or how would I accomplish this for making videos? Uh, I mean, because if you're making a video, I mean, it's just a camera and you're recording what you're doing. So I'm not trying, I'm trying to figure out if you're trying to also like do it, but also have a screen recording. Okay, screen share. Okay, that's a little bit different. You're going to have, so if you want to be able to do both, you're going to have to use a program where you can switch between the two. So like I use StreamYard. And with StreamYard, um, it allows you to um, it allows you to switch back and forth. So, like, I can go on here, and you can you can use StreamYard without going live. It has a record feature, and you can do that from the free one. Um, so, it has a record feature, and you can do it that way. If not, um, then you can try using like OBS, but then you have to set that up. So that's really the only way. Like, if you're trying to do it all in one, where you can easily switch outside of that. You're going to have to do the recording, 
do your screen share and then you're going to have to use an editing software to bring it all together. Once I press eco seamed, um, hold on one second, y'all. Incredible afternoon, HS income. I hope you. All right, there we go. Um, once it's pressed, Eco seems a little bit duller. Workforce, absolutely amazing. Yeah, I don't know. I've printed from my um, Eco Tape printer, and I don't notice like a really big difference. So it might not be duller, but you have to remember that Eco Tanks use dye inks. Workforce uses pigment inks, so it may not be duller, but your colors will be slightly different because they're different color profiles. So that might be what you're seeing and you're experiencing. Hold on, I don't know why this is acting crazy. Um, but, all right, are you guys going in and out over here? Because it keeps saying interrupted live. Yeah, live broadcast is unstable. Are you, Can you guys still hear me over on TikTok? I don't know what's going on with this. Can you guys still hear me? No, no, maybe so. Nope. Okay. I don't think so because the numbers broadcast. All right. So let's go back out in and let's do another one. So uh, live and go live. All righty. There we go. I had to restart it. I guess that time the call made it where it messed it up. Um, okay, so I'm trying to do a video and show what I'm making. While record. Okay, wait, I read that one. Okay, never mind. Uh, let's see. Good evening, all. I just uh, got my printer. So excited! Thanks for the not wait. Thanks for the knowledge, professor. Waiting for your cartridges and syringes to get here. Yay! Yeah, I don't know. I guess when I answered the call, it made it to where the the live dropped. So, yeah. So Streamyard, you don't have to do it just for live. If you go on there, it'll be um, an option where it says record only, and you still have all the same functionalities. So you can put your like. Uh, uh, Opening banner, you can create that, have that on there, take it off. You can share your screen. You can switch between cameras. So you have all the same functionalities. It's just a record only. Um, no, I was actually on a call, so I muted the mic. Uh, how to cut a picture and the word is on top of the picture and it's cutting on the picture, not around the picture and the words try to well. Okay. So you mean an, an image? So is it a picture like a, your, it's a picture of a picture or do you mean like you're probably doing text to uh, talk to text. And so it's coming in as picture as in or picture instead of picture. So if you're asking that, then how to cut a picture in words um, on top. So 
you just set it to um, cut edge. So I have this donut on here. I will show you from there. Um, all right, let's see. Let's go present, share screen, share screen, share, uh, add to stream. Uh oh. And then let me flip you guys around. So if you're wanting to put something on top of here and be able to cut it, so we're going to go uh, HS Inc. 365. And let's fill that in with black. Let's center it. So if this was like this in the center, when you go to send it, you're simply going to select it and go cut edge and it will cut whatever the edge is. So because this the letters actually fall where there's an opening, it will cut around that as well. But if I were to bring this, let's say down here and you know what, let's even go and put it along the edge. Okay, wait, let's move this over here, pull it here, bring it inside, do our character spacing. Why are you cutting off like that? That's so weird. I don't understand why it's cutting off like that. So like it's only doing half of the image, so weird. So let's say we had it inside like that. It will be still be the same thing. So if it's on cut, it's gonna cut all of it. You go cut edge and it cuts just the edge. Um, do you need special glossy sticker paper for pigment ink? I see reviews on some brands. Don't work. Um, so it needs to be, oh yeah, I figured that was her. She flew right past the house. Um, so it does need to be inkjet glossy uh, paper. So if it was for laser, it's not going to work. Um, so it definitely needs to be for inkjet. I know she can come out there. Can come on, come to the door. It's 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 a it, it's headquarters. So you come in and knock on the door. We don't bring it out to the car. All right, give me one second. Okay, that's why somebody else came to come pick it up. Um, all right, well, it is officially 6.30. Um, so we are going to wrap it up. Um, Cause I came back no other questions have been posted and it is officially closing time for moi. Um, no, the 7720 is no longer available. They are no longer manufactured fact manufactured. Um, so if you want a larger format printer, the replacements for it is the Epson 7820, 7840, 7310. The direct replacement for a 7710 is the 7820 because that will be the one with the one tray. Now with the newer printers, there is no reset option. You have to purchase chips, which we do sell 
on the site. So you'll end up per buying replacement chips and then you just slide it off, put the new one on. Um, I'm resisting buying one more on Facebook Marketplace for 7720 for 100. Um, so I mean, if it's if it works, I mean, it's always good to have one because I mean, with those you can reset. But I will say this: as much as I love my 7720, they actually made improvements when it comes when it aside for their pigment ink rubbing off and like smearing. Uh, it smears a little bit on certain matte papers and it scratches off on anything glossy. So besides that and all those 30,000 pinwheels, well, okay, no, you know what? So for pigment inks, I would probably always still use my 7720. I love the colors on it, but for um, glossy paper, for sticker paper and things like that, it... Um, especially if it's thick like a photo paper, it puts really deep pinwheel marks. Like you can literally see the, the indention from the pinwheels because they put so many on there. I have it set to thick paper envelope and you can still see all of those pin marks, like those pin pinwheel marks. I hate that about the 7840 and the 7820. So for pigment ink, I probably will stick to more like my 7720 um, or my uh, 7710, things like that. But for sublimation, yo, the 7820, 7840, 7310 is kind of where it's at. Like they made some improvements on the way the color outputs. Like with my 7720, I felt like I had to use premium matte in order to get like a rich black um, color. Can you turn the light back on? No. We're ready. To, I'm always ready to go. Um, but for the 7820, 7840, I mean, that black comes out amazing. So for summation, I must say, like, when I, if, if you don't, when I did the conversion of it, the 7820, like, I was like, oh, whoa. And I was like, man, I think I like this better. So I will say for summation, Epson made some changes with uh, the way the colors output, especially how black outputs, and it's better than the 7720. Like, I'm not even going to lie. that uh yeah the 7840 is better than the 7720 like it really is yeah <laughs> um i use my 7820 with your pigment ink and i have no, um so with glossy you're using glossy photo paper then you may not pay attention to it because it definitely leaves the pinwheels so it's not like that it leaves gaps of ink because it's gonna dry but you literally can see the trail of dots when you're using a uh, glossy photo paper. I love my 7840s. Yeah, they. I will. I will give it to them. They made some improvements. I cannot stand that extra row of pinwheels. I almost wish I can take it out, but I mean, it's because they put longer cartridges in there, so um, they had to put those on there to be able to hold the paper. And like that bigger section, but I cannot stand, I cannot stand all those extra pinwheels. Well, I don't know. I'm not sure if you've ever paid attention to it, but if you really go back and look, you're gonna see those those pinwheels on it. They're there. Cause I tested with a lot of different papers and they're there. And it leaves little indention marks all the way down. All right, but I am out of here. Thank you guys so very much for joining me for this quick 30-minute uh, Q&A. Actually, pretty good. I'm only at 34 minutes. All right, y'all. Until next time, have a great one. Continue to unlock your creativity. Be incredible. Don't forget to visit the website, shop.hsync365.com for your pigment ink, summation ink, summation paper, your heat tape, your chip resetters, which is what they actually just came and purchased, the chip resetter and the... Um, the summation paper, and we have the class for the oversized prints. So if you want to learn how to master that, not necessarily designing, but master being able to print it in sections and tiling it, and then taping it together, and then getting it pressed um, with a good, uh, clean uh, press, 
make sure that you go ahead and sign up for that class. We will be live going over design set up and um, how to print it out on Thursday at uh, 12 noon. And then on Saturday, we will also have um, a session at 12 noon. And that's where we're going to you know, have everything, tape it together. You guys are going to press it. Um, and you'll determine if you prefer to do it with a hardboard or without. So we're going to do it on the heat press with and without a hardboard. And then when you're using an easy press, it is best to have a hardboard or have like just a nice solid surface. So I am going to also press something with the easy press. You can click on the link um, and get the Amazon towels or you can get Dollar Tree pillowcases. I will have I'm actually uploading the files first thing tomorrow. Um, for that, um, in case you want to just kind of take a look at those before class, but it's going to be files where you can print it for either one of those. Um, and you can also practice with like, uh, if you have a small, a small format heat um, printer, but you want to do an extra large shirt, just make sure you have your artwork ready so that you can share your screen and I can walk you through how you would do that for um, your design. Okay. Um, upgrade for sublimation. I'm using an XP. I mean, yeah, so it definitely would be an upgrade if it actually works. I mean, it definitely would be an upgrade if you can get it for that price. Yes, there is a cost. It's a two day class. So it is $33.65. Mm, yeah, it's thirty three sixty five. Um, not that I can think of. Alrighty, hello, Captain Ray. How are you? Alrighty, until next time, guys. Um, yeah, my. None of my classes are so. If you don't know, the price structure for my classes is: if it's a single day class, it's twenty three sixty five. If it's a two day class, it's thirty three sixty five. If it's a three day class, it is forty three sixty five. Four day class, fifty three. You see the the pattern there. So if I ever say like, okay, there's a six day challenge coming up, or a six day seminar coming up. So if I say it's a six day, it's going to be how much? How much would a six day workshop six day seminar be with Shakia the professor yeah I'm very affordable very 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 affordable exactly 73 no it'll be 73.65 it's a six day class just add an extra one so if it's a six day class it's 73.65. Five day class, 63.75. Yep. That's how much it will be. Six if it's a six day class, 73.65. You just add a tend to it. Yeah. There you go. So it's easy to remember the prices for my classes. Um, and they're very affordable. And I do it that way because um in the move, it's been a little crazy, but when I tell y'all, it's about to be a bunch of stuff coming at you. So I want you guys to, you know, be able to attend what you need for your growth in your business, um, or just your, you know, a lot of. I actually have a lot of people who don't do it for business, um, so it's not like a tax write off for them. So I do still want to make it affordable for those who um, kind of attend my sessions just for. Uh, personal and hobby purposes, but you still want to learn the right way. So I keep it really affordable. I don't have to, I don't have to be like um, other, other companies do. So, you know, if you get like internet in a commercial space or you get lights or water or any utilities in a commercial space, they charge you more than what they charge you in your home, just because you are a business. I all, I've always hated that. So I ain't going to do it to you just because y'all doing it for business. I'm not going to do that to you because I don't like when all the other companies do that. So, yeah. Um, what is the class? Oversized. It says oversized and tiling. Um, hold on. Let's see. It's on. As soon as you scroll down, it sits right next to the 30-day training. So it says, um, well, dang, what's taking so long here? Oh, there we go. 
It says oversized sublimation printing, oversized sublimation with tiling and small heat press. So it's this one right here. <laughs> she says, you will not be disappointed. You would definitely get more for your money than any <laughs> other places in these YouTube streets. Exactly. Um, my website is shop.hsinc365.com. If you click the link that's in the bio, it will take you to, um, oh wait, it'll take you to my link tree. And from my link tree, you can find the site or you can just go to shop.hsinc365.com. All right. All righty, y'all. Until next time. Y'all know I'm not going into there. Hold on. Have a great one. Continue to, well, have, <laughs> until next time. Uh, continue to unlock your creativity and be incredible. I was, I lost my whole train of thought right there trying to be sneaky over here with TikTok. <laughs> Peace.